Everywhere I go, a poet has been there before me, Sigmund Freud. I saw that magazine I read, you know, the one that said, don't believe everything on the internet. Oh. Hey, Ben and Lincoln, you remember that one. <laughs> uh, this first reading is a short poem. I almost feel obligated to read. I'm not much of a reader. Uh, I've been reading this man for almost 40 years, J. Krishnamurti. And uh, he's had a tremendous influence on my life. In order to ensure my claim to authenticity, I must acknowledge the influence of J. Krishnamurti. It's tricky, you see, because he constantly points out to me, not to make him a guru or any sort of authority. But oh, how he has encouraged, enlightened, and influenced me, especially the joy of occasionally being psychologically free. So I'm not always certain what parts of my poetry are me and what parts of my poetry Ajay Krishnamurti. Next one. This one's called Audience. Sure, I have some problems, maybe one or two. I'm sure I'm not alone. You probably have some too. I think that most of mine are different, but I'll leave that up to you. As I get old, I'm not so bold, but at my age, I've learned a thing or two. You may think that this one problem doesn't make a lot of sense. Here's my real problem. No matter what I know, I have no audience. Wait, I just learned something new. I'm not really here to preach. I can just keep on learning. There's really no need to teach. If I'm open to discovery, looking for the truth, it just goes on and on. And to those with a flame of inquiry, to them I will respond. Yes. Thank you. Right. This is called Sculptures from My Mind. I approach the unknown with a sculptor's imagination and an unexamined mind. I surround myself with a marble void held together by attachment, dependency, and fear. From this void, I chisel out and carve out the terrifying images of aloneness, nothingness, and emptiness. Unknowingly, I have created my prison. I am not only the inmate, I am the warden, the guard, the maintenance crew, the groundkeeper. Most of my time is spent trying to make my prison comfortable. I seek pleasure because I don't experience freedom. I only try to escape from the pain, not from prison. One cannot escape from prison if one doesn't know they are in prison. I took on an inner journey and discovered the falseness of my existence. When one clearly sees the falseness, it is like coming upon a rattlesnake in the wilderness. It takes no energy not to pick up the rattlesnake. However, whether one flees from the snake, attacks the snake, or merely observes the snake, will depend on their knowledge and understanding of snakes. Once I clearly observe the prison I create, the prison I create, the boy dissipates, the prison dissolves, and my priorities shift. When I am aware and see the falseness of this prison, my priority becomes self-knowledge, understanding, and discovery, rather than escape, comfort, and pleasure. And my last one here is a risky one. It's one of my favorites, however. It's called Very Sad Thoughts of a Coward. My mind exploding, my body unloading, my being has reached its peak. But we don't ever meet, at least not in heat, in the object of the fantasy I seek. The saddest thought, the ultimate exasperation, is a possibility that you, my fantasy woman, also enjoy masturbation. Yeah.
even if you're not fantasizing or thinking of me as your temperature soars, would it matter as long as it's a he? Why not me? The ultimate waste, regardless of taste, is separation because of fear, a most terrible sin. The missing of love, damnation forever, regardless of the religion you're in. I've had sex and made love with many, many women, but few of them were even aware. Sure, there was lust, and this kind of loving, it's a must. But also warmth and tenderness was there. The saddest thought, maybe the saddest of all, is that my mind lover is also having a mind ball. And I don't have the guts or the courage to tell her. Oh, I agree it's an unusual proposal. And though it's buried in a poem, it is still at our disposal. A very sad thought, maybe the saddest of all, that while I am masturbating, my fantasy woman is naked and lonely and waiting my call. Thank you. <laughs>